Good morning. Please stand. Our entrance antiphon. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit is also testified to us for saying, this is the covenant I will establish with them. After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. He also says, their sins and their evil doing, I will remember no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> the responsorial psalm. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor, before the day star, like the dew I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Thank you. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On one occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on the rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell upon thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil that produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present among those present along with the twelve questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see but not perceive, and hear and listen but not understand, in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven." Jesus said to them, do you, un do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear it, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground who, when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots. They last only for a time. Then, when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among the thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise. I think I mentioned before, I get those little daily reflections that come from Bishop Barron every day. And he proposed something this morning that kind of made me sit back in my chair and go, hmm. He proposed the idea that what if there had been some farmers sitting there listening to Jesus give this parable about some guy who's out sowing seed and he's careless. I mean, he just throwing seed out everywhere, not paying attention to whether or not it's flowing onto the road, onto the sidewalk, into the middle of the street, out into the field, or into good soil where it's actually going to be able to sprout, take root, and grow up. They probably would have thought, what kind of an idiot farmer is this? He's being so totally careless. But then you take a step back, and you look at, you know, we're talking about God's the one who's the sower of the seed, and the seed is his word. And here's how generous God is. He knows exactly when he cast his word out whose heart is going to receive it, whose heart is going to reject it. But even on those he knows is going to reject them, their hearts are hard like granite, he puts the seed out there anyway. 
There's God's generosity. And that's where, you know, there's a challenge that's out there to us. They're going to, you know, this is kind of hearkening back to a couple of days ago now, where we don't know who's going to receive. You know, we don't know how hard the soil is. We just don't. But like God, what are we intended to do with our life of faith and our call to bear witness to the word with our own lives? We need to be willing to put that word of grace out there to all, holding it back from no one, because ultimately we don't know who's going to receive it or when they will receive it. Now, our tendency is we'll look at somebody and we'll think, well, there's a heart that's harder than the hardest granite that's anywhere on planet Earth. And it's like, and just move on and go someplace else. And God's saying, no. He generously is casting his seed out, giving every soul the opportunity for a moment of grace, for a moment of self-realization that there's something in my life that needs to change. There is something for which I need to repent. God is generously casting that out, even knowing when we will or will not or if ever receive that moment of grace. God generously casts it out anyway. The invitation and challenge simultaneously for us is our life of faith, our bearing witness to Christ. Be done the same way that we give those moments of grace to where it touched us to let it have an opportunity to touch someone else no matter what we think about them. Because ultimately, again, we don't really know. God does. Let us offer our prayers of faith. Let us pray for the Holy Church of God, that the Lord may guard and cherish her. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sake of our nation, especially the vulnerable, innocent, and defenseless, may all willful workers of wickedness be removed from positions of power, prominence, and prestige civil, judicial, and spiritual. Open the eyes of those being deceived and place people who stand for your righteous cause in the places of authority. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our families and for the members of this parish that the Lord may bless them in his goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for missionaries and for persecuted Christians everywhere, that the trials they endure may increase their faith and their glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For these and for all the intentions in our parish book of prayer, and for the repose of the soul of Michael Habig, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask you to hear our prayer, which we offer up to you this day, as always, through your Son, Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Food of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Food of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift spirit. up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Peter our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. <laughs> Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only yes. say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion antiphon look toward the lord and be radiant let your faces not be abashed
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world seeking to ruin their souls. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended.